Hi guys, welcome back to the session. Today I am going to provide you a complete walkthrough on the new design of UiPath Orchestrator which is set to be the Apollo design. I will also explain how to connect a robot to this new orchestrator and how to run jobs from this orchestrator. So let's get started. First of all launch UiPath Automation Cloud with this URL and sign in with your credentials. Now here I will go from scratch. As of now you can see there is no orchestrator service available for me in UiPath Automation Cloud. So let's create a new orchestrator service first. For that move to admin, move to tenant and here hit on add tenant. Let's provide a tenant name here. QAL so I provided the tenant name as QAL and for this tenant these all services are available by default. So let's go with these default services orchestrator action and processes. Hit on save and here we created the tenant QAL with the services orchestrator actions and process launcher. Now if you move to home here you see the orchestrator service QAL is available now for me. So open this orchestrator service, click on this and with this our orchestrator is launched. Let me provide you some updates on the new design of orchestrator. So the first update is from this plus sign you can add or manage entities at both folder and tenant level. Next this tenant and all the folders are separated for to make the distinction between them more clear. Next these all are the entities available under the tenant. Then all the folders whatever you create will be listed here. Then these all are the entities under the folder. Then under this automations you will get the options for processes, jobs, triggers and logs. So these are some of the updates in the new design of the orchestrator. Now under the orchestrator what all we will have to do. So let's get started with that. First of all we will create a machine here. So how to do that? For that move to tenant, move to machines and click on add a new machine. From here, from this drop down, we will select add standard machine. Now here we will have to provide the machine name. So how you will provide the name? So for that open your UiPath assistant and under this UiPath assistant click on this icon, move to preferences and move to orchestrator settings. Now here if you choose the connection type as machine key here you will get your machine name. So copy this machine name from here and provide it in the name. So let's add the licenses for the unattended run times. So in the community edition you will get only one license for this one. So increase the license to one. If you try to increase more you will get an error value must be between zero to one. So let's provide the license as one for unattended run times and one for testing run times. So all the details has been provided for standard machine. Let's hit on provision. And with this we added the standard machine. So as of now inside the orchestrator we have added a machine. Now our next step is to do orchestrator configuration in the UiPath assistant. For that what you will do open the UiPath assistant again and on the same page on the orchestrator settings you will have to provide the orchestrator URL. So copy the orchestrator URL till the tenant name you don't need to copy the complete URL. Copy this complete till tenant name from here and provide it inside the orchestrator URL. Next you will have to provide the machine key. So machine key you will get from here copy machine key from to clipboard. So hit on this the machine key is copied provide it inside the machine key and hit on connect. So once you click on connect here you see the status is changed to connected but it is still unlicensed. Why it is 
unlicensed because we have just added a machine but we have not added the robot what do i mean let me show you under the tenant if you move to robots here you see there is no robot available for us although we added a machine here although we added a machine here but we are yet to add a robot so our next step is to add a robot in the ui path orchestrator so let me show you how to do that for that first of all move to folders and click on this new folder option let's provide a folder name let's give the folder name as ql folder and create it now once the folder is created select that specific folder and move to machines then hit on manage machines in a folder select your machine and hit on update so the job of machines is done let's move to users now here we already have an entry of username robot type and roles here we'll have to do some edits so click on this three dots and hit click on edit now here we'll have to edit some information first one is user details here let's go with all these default options we don't need to change anything here next under the attended robot all these details are let's go with the default and under the unattended robot here turn this unattended robot and here you'll have to provide your domain username so how to get this domain username for that open the command prompt and here provide the command as who am i and hit enter which is going to provide you your domain slash username so copy your domain slash username from here and provide it here next you'll have to provide your windows password here so provide your password all good all the details has been provided you don't have to change anything under the robot settings so let's hit on update and with this we created a robot so if you remove to robots now here you see the robot is available earlier this robot was not available but we created this one now if you move to ui path assistant here you see the status has been changed to connected and licensed so with this we connected a robot to the new ui path orchestrator now if you open this ui path studio so first of all you will get the window something like that so move to more options and select connect to orchestrator here you will get your machine key then provide your orchestrator url which will be similar to the one which we did earlier copy the url till tenant name provide it in the orchestrator url next you'll have to provide the machine key as well this one is my previous one so for the machine key again you'll move to machines and copy the machine key to clipboard and provide the machine key here and hit on continue now here you might get this error access is denied so let me show you how you will resolve this error so for that open your task manager and search for the service search for this service ui path user service and end this task now once you end this task try to launch this ui path studio again so try to launch this ui path studio and with this you see the error has been resolved and the ui path studio is launched now so if i open this one project from here here you see the robot status is connected here is the folder name which we have created qal folder which we have created here so in this way you can connect your robot to the orchestrator now let me show you how to run a job through this orchestrator so for that let me create a very small project and upload it in the orchestrator let me close these and i'm going to quickly create a very short process let me give a 
name here message box orchestrator and hit on create open the main move to activities and here I'm going to simply add a message box and let's type a message here this is a demo on new orchestrator design and save this project so to run jobs through this orchestrator first of all we should upload a package to the orchestrator so I'm going to upload this project to the orchestrator so for that hit on publish and hit on next and click on finish So with this, we published our project successfully to the orchestrator. Let's hit on OK. Now if you move to orchestrator, in the tenant under the packages, this is the project which we published in the orchestrator. Now to run this project through this orchestrator, what you will do, move to your required folder. This is the folder which we created. Then move to automations. And first of all create a process so under the processes hit on add process and select a package name so I'm going to select the package which we have uploaded let's go with these default options and hit on continue let's provide a process name here let's say process 1 and hit on create So we completed the process next move to jobs and hit on start now here we'll have to provide few details first of all select a process name let's select this process one which we just created let's keep the job priority as normal job type as unattended let's select the user so this is the user which i'm going to select which is the domain slash username which we have selected then let's select a machine so let's select the machine which we created let's hit on start and you see our execution is in progress the status is running and here the execution started with the message box this is a demo on new orchestrator design let's hit on ok so with this we ran our first job through this new orchestrator design although there are other ways to run the jobs as well such as from the triggers but this is just a first job which we ran through this orchestrator so this is all about the new design of UiPath orchestrator that is the Apollo design and we also learned how to connect the robot to this orchestrator and how to run jobs from this orchestrator let me know if you face any query or error and that's all for this session guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends. Hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel as well. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye bye.